Good morning. Um, so this is the finished cover of um, that I that I finished. I intended to do this section and this section with y'all. The the spine and this little focal point. Um, but for whatever reason, uh, half about 10 minutes to the end when I started doing this of my previous video, um, I think I showed this picture like up close like that. And then when I put it back down, you see how it's out of focus. So that's what happened. So all that to say, I had to cut that part out. Um, so you didn't, you didn't get to see that, but I will explain what I've done and I will do it up close. So this is one of, uh, raindrop Lila's, uh, fall mini photo, um, pictures that I cut out and, um, under here, this is not vellum. This is tracing paper. I just kind of glued in the center of all three of these pages. This is just um, cheesecloth. I I stapled, there's a little Tim Holtz tiny staple underneath this button. This button's from my stash and I use turbo tacky glue to glue this down. Um, and I mean, it's dry and I mean, it's not, it's not coming off. And I used this uh, gingham. This gingham is from Hobby Lobby. And then this, isn't that pretty? That's just an old hanky that I found at a local antique shop. Uh, in a little town, um, I think it is a little north of here, northwestish. Uh, it's called Geronimo. But I just thought that was really pretty, and, and I did the same thing on the inside. I just used um, I used all of my some vintage hem paper, some in French, some in English. Raindrop Lila's Digitals, and then the same gingham fabric from Hobby Lobby in another portion of the, uh, the hanky. What I was saying, I believe in my last video is, you know, women had, they didn't have as many opportunities as they, did now and so they use their time to really beautify um, just everyday objects like handkerchiefs because there was no Kleenex. So anyway, uh, this is a ribbon from Hobby Lobby. It's this boutique studio. And um, so yeah, that's it. So that's my show and tell. I'm, this is gonna stay empty until all of the pages are done. Um, I also kind of organized my um, things that I'm gonna use. So this is all scrap, lace, ribbon, whatever that doesn't have um, a spool. I cut these spools um, from I traced uh, an old um, cardboard spool that's in my stash and I just cut it out of craft paper. Then I've already shown you this. This is just my pouch of the photographs. This is gonna be my pouch of scraps. I'm not a huge scrap paper saver because uh, that I, I don't need that kind of mess in my life. So I use my stuff 
And then when the project is over, I typically toss those scraps. And then these are, these are my painted leaves. Um, I'm gonna add to that painted uh, pouch today um, because I want to do some swatching. Um, so I'm gonna scooch this out of the way. I'm gonna move my fabric-y things. And I just realized I did not get my water. I'm pulling out all of my neutrals. So warm gray, this is also warm gray. I, uh, this is an empty tube. Dark titanium white. Um, milky white, unbleached titanium, parchment, which has kind of a greenish bit, uh, titan buff, and titanium white. They all kind of, I don't know, I just like all those neutrals. Um, let me go grab a glass real quick of water. So here's my water, um, and look, I like to use shop um, paper towels, like car shop, automotive shop, because they're way more absorbent than, um, you know, they come on a roll like that. They're way more absorbent than just like regular um, paper towels. I'm gonna use a combination of flat brushes. So this is a well-loved brush. There's a flat. This is angled. I don't think I want that one. Um, definitely gonna use a round. a little bit bigger. This one's not been used. It still has kind of that stiffener on it. And I think I want a thin one. So I'm just going to use these three. I'm going to go on and put them in my water. Um, just because, in fact, I'm going to put my water over here because I'm a lefty and I'll reach over the space. So as far as paper goes, I'm going to use um, I think, actually, where's my scrap? Let's look at my little scrap pouch first. So I think I'm going to use this French hem and what else? What's this? I don't really have a ton of scraps just yet. This is just a uh, French text and oh, what's this? I'll use that. That. I think I'll use a skinny one. Okay. And then I also have this is from my scraps from my autumn journal that I'm going to pull. I think I want to pull one of these. What else? What 
think we'll just start with there and I can always get more. good for now. I also have some avocado dyed paper if I want to use that. And I might I might pull something out of here, but we'll use what we got first. So here's my plate. I'm just going to put just the smallest bits. That's not too small. I need to clean that off. I want some white. And then let's see. I think I'm going to try this dark titanium. It's kind of a pretty color. Oh, wow. Okay. Warm gray. Let's see if I can get just a tiny bit. Yeah, there we go. Milky white. I actually like this milky white. There. And then we can mix as well. Um, this has almost a different... It kind of looks like clay. A clay color to me. And then parchment, which has a very kind of greeny undertone to it. All right. So this is all acrylic. I'll do some watercolor as well, uh, which I have ooh, right here. But first, I am going to do this. I think I'm going to kind of half these so I can save some for uh, watercolor. I'm going to have a, a little collection. I think these would be kind of fun to tuck in um, places. And yes, these are tiny, but I really want to keep the focus on uh, the photographs. So these are just going to be like little layers. This is my very well-loved mini ruler that now has <laughs> It's really not even useful because it's all worn off. But that's okay. It's good for tearing. Actually, I want that over there. My fan working. It's blowing all of my papers off. Okay. I think I want to make a little bit bigger since I have the oops, bigger sheet. This will be my watercolor pile. And this will be my acrylic pile. And I'm just gonna do one at a time. I am gonna start with um, here. 
this. This is the milky white. And I'm gonna put just the tiniest bit of titanium in there. Oh yeah, that's pretty. And I think I'm gonna get just some straight titanium. Some straight, uh, what is that? Parch, that's not parchment. That is dark titanium. No, it isn't either. I think this is parchment. Oh, wow, that matches the, this is parchment. I don't know what that is, warm gray maybe. Here we go. All that these are wet, I'm gonna set them right there. Now before, oops. Before I get too far into this thing, I just want to make sure everything is focused because the last time I didn't. Okay, I'm going to do this for a few more minutes, I think. Okay, this, this was kind of the milky white. Let's put that back over here. Okay. Set that aside. That's kind of pretty. I'm gonna do a smaller one. So uh, I I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go down. Um, so I made a mistake when I was filming yesterday and I was really upset with myself and today I figured out kind of how to fix it a little bit. I mean, it's not super polished, but that video will upload for tomorrow. It's get, it'll be scheduled for tomorrow. And, um, so I feel like I just learned a new thing. I picked my our uh, son up from school, the one who gets out early. And I told him, I said, I'm going to get you Taco Bell today because for a celebration because I figured out how to save my video. <laughs> he was really uh, he was happy for me. So, yeah. It's pretty. And I can tear these, you know, once they're dry. I'm going to try it on this. And I want to use round. I don't know what color I want to use though. Maybe this one. I will say acrylic dries pretty quickly, um, so you kind of have to be fast. It's, uh, to me, I like acrylic. That's what I paint on canvases. I use acrylic. Cloudy out. I sure would like to have rain. It's kind of missed us. It's come all around us, but it's missed us. So, so to get a point on your paintbrush, you just twirl it. 
and then you have a point to work with. Now this is a thicker brush. It's a four. But there you go. I like that. I think I want to do this one. I think I want this one to be dark. I think I'm going to use only this, which is warm gray, I believe. Have y'all done this? I'm sure a lot of people have. But I sh oh, that's pretty. I um, it's relaxing to me. And uh, sometimes when I work at the art league, after I've finished all of my chores, for lack of a better word, uh, when we open, um, I'll bring just a set of watercolors and just do this while I visit. And then when someone comes in, I can stop. It's easy to put down and um, not have to worry about messing up any kind of actual painting. I can't really paint paint in front of people. I'm going to be doing the art and wine walk again this year. And while I'll demo, because I, I think it's fun for people who are... Um, you know, walking around downtown, uh, taste testing little sips of wine. It's not a lot of wine, it's just little little bits. Um, it's, it gives them something fun to look at when they uh, come into a shop. So it was so fun last year. Last year was the first time and I was uh, inside a local realtor's office. And um, so the realtor provided little snacks and then um, Blue Mule Winery in Round Top, Warrington area um, came to, they're the ones that were in um, the realtor's office and they were super fun. Um, I taste tested uh, one of their white wines and bought a bottle for my mom because she likes white wine. She likes red, I don't care for red. I don't like anything too strong. I'm really not a, I don't, there's not a whole lot of any kind of alcoholic beverage that I like. I sometimes have like a sip of beer of Jeff's, um, but as far as like enjoying cocktails or anything, it just doesn't appeal to me. It just doesn't. So, um, but sometimes Jeff will have a beer. He doesn't like wine. Um, so, I kind of like these dots. Trying not to block. I was noticing when in that really long leaf tutorial, my my arm. I had my water here, so I kept reaching across. I'm like, well, that's no good. So there you go. So because this one is such a dark paper, I think. Let's see. I think I want to use the smaller. I love these paper towels. Okay. I will also say a paper plate for a palette is really not the greatest thing in the world. I don't, I usually um, use something that doesn't absorb. I'm just, instead of using the flat, I'm gonna use just this bit and kind of get that shape, the side. I 
And once it dries, uh, some of the text will still show through because this white is not fully opaque just because I've um, watered it down. Getting a nice collection. And let's see. I really like this. Um, it's kind of a it's a mauvey color. What is that? I think it's this titanium. This dark titanium white is very mauvey. Um, and I really, that's what it is. So it's the Master's Touch dark titanium white. It has a very rosy uh, color to it. Isn't that pretty? I love that. It's, it definitely has a pinky undertone. And let's see, we're nearing the end. What do I wanna do? Maybe I wanna do this. Looks like I did not clean my brush, shame on me. Okay, so let's get some really, uh, Let's use this parchment. This has a green undertone. But I definitely need it to be a little more loosey-goosey. There we go. No, it barely shows. I kind of like that. I'll just add a subtle bit of texture to it, to like a, a layer. So there's lots of people I follow on Instagram that are really into mark making. Uh, one of them is Ray Missickman, and another is Willa Wanders, and trying to think of some other ones. Um, Die Venter. These are mixed media artists. Ray, Ray Missigman Missig is a watercolor artist, but a, a lot of her stuff is um, just with making marks or with using stencils to create um, really pretty little floral motifs. Oh, I like that. And uh, I think I want to, no. So this one is very yellowy. The paper is. What should we use? Maybe this, maybe Titan, this Titan buff. what that is. I think it's it's a little milky white, a little titanium maybe. I want it to show up. Oh yeah, I like that. Let's have it show up. So this was from an old uh, Texas gold stamp book that I found. I don't even remember where. Um, and it was, oh, I think it was at an estate sale because I got like three books. They had a whole grouping. Um, they just bundled up. It was like the last day and they were just wanting to get rid of stuff. So they tied a bunch of things together and, um, put like $4 on it. And I, because it was the last day, it was 50% off. So for $2, I got all of these crazy old, um, the Texas gold stamp books. 
some notepads, all kinds of things. Okay, so we have these little tiny bits left and I think I wanna use my big, this, this, no, I'll use this one since, nope, where's my, there. I'll use this uh, middle size, it's a size eight. This is from um, Hobby Lobby. You want to do more of this mauve color? And then on this one, I want to go dark. The darkest one, which is, I think, warm gray. I do like this warm gray. And on this yellowy one, I think I want to do the. I think I want to do this warm gray as well. I didn't have to, but I just want one big swatch there. And then on the pink, let's try. I want to try this parchment because um, it has a green undertone. And it's, so green and red are compliments. I just kind of want to see what that looks like. Kind of looks nice. There, done. So, some are not, you can't see them as well, like this one. This is the parchment. And then others really show up. So there we go. These are my little papers. I'm gonna stop for today.